How's it going Eliminators? On today's video we're going to be looking at a lawnmower that's got some water in the fuel. So let's get right into it. I'm working on a Yard Pro. It has a Kohler XT7 horsepower engine on it. And this has an auto choke. Other auto chokes, they run off of an air vein that uh, basically when your flywheel spins, it creates a little force of air that pushes up against a lever and opens your butterfly valve for your choke. On this one, however, it works under vacuum pressure. So there's a little diaphragm in here. And when this pulls in, you can see it opens up your choke. Now there's a black tube and that runs over to a port right there. And when you start up your machine, there's a negative pressure inside the carburetor because obviously the cylinder is sucking in air. So it creates a vacuum, which then pulls in the diaphragm, which then rotates that butterfly valve. So the way to check these is you get something like this. It's a MIDI vac, and this is a vacuum pump here, and it has a finger press release on it. And we're just gonna pump this up just a little bit to the point where you'll see the butterfly valve open up. So I'm gonna pump it a couple times here. And right there, so we're under pressure now. I can show you the gauge. We're sitting just under 15 PSI. You don't wanna to put too much on there, but you can see that this auto choke air diaphragm works perfectly fine. So I just wanted to show you guys how to test one of those. You go and you get yourself one of these midi vac pumps here with the little gauge on it. It goes up to, looks like 30 PSI. And normally you just need about five or 10 PSI for testing little things such as this. But it works perfectly fine. So now I can go ahead and remove my carburetor and rule out an issue of the choke not working. Now the issue with this Kohler here is when you'd pull the cord, it wouldn't start at all. Now this is a machine that I hadn't worked on previously. So I figured I was gonna do a carb clean anyways, but once I pulled the fuel line off of the carburetor, I could tell right away that there was in fact water in the fuel. So the prognosis for this Kohler here turns out to be a little bit of water into the gas tank. You guys can see it right there. So that's the difference between fuel on the top here and water on the bottom. So right there, that's the line. This woman left her lawnmower sitting outside in the rain or the fuel inside of her jerry can attracted the water because it has ethanol in it. But she said to us that she uses premium fuel. Premium fuel has little to zero ethanol in it. This only normally happens when you're running really low, cheap, inexpensive fuel because they run more ethanol. And ethanol being grain alcohol from corn, alcohol attracts water. And over time, this is what happens to your jerry can. Your gas sits there, it attracts water, it all goes to the bottom. And on a lawnmower, your fuel pickup line is at the bottom of the fuel tank. So what ends up happening is all the water settles to the bottom of your tank and that's what goes into your carburetor. So here's a little better video of it. I got it under the light now. You can see the difference between the water and the fuel on top. It definitely separates. Now once we drain the fuel tank out, this was the remaining bit of fuel that came out and you guys can see there is no water in there. That's all fuel. So again, what happens is you're just running your machine and you might run it out of gas and you take the little bit that you have left in your jerry can and you go to dump that into your lawnmower, not realizing that the majority of it is actually water. So now when you're pulling the pull start on your lawnmower, your carburetor and your engine is sucking in water into the cylinder and it's not actually sucking in fuel and that's why it's not combusting. So this is a fairly easy fix. I'm just gonna remove the fuel tank and clean it out, make sure there's no debris in there. I'm going to take my airline and blow out the fuel line and then I'm gonna remove the carb, take the bowl off and just make sure there's no water left inside of the bowl or the jets of the carburetor. Okay, so I got the bowl off and I got my finger over the hole where the bolt goes to hold the bowl on. So what I'm gonna do is take a barbecue lighter and I'm gonna light this. It did light up better than I thought it would. So it wasn't necessarily an epic fail, even though some of it did light up. You guys can see all the little water droplets here that didn't light on fire, that's all water. So all the fuel is burned off and you're left with water that will not burn. It didn't work out exactly as I thought. I guess the proof is there and that's all that matters. So I just went ahead, pulled out the main jet and the metering rod just to make sure that there is no gunk inside of it and uh, there's a little bit of grass, but that's all coming from the outside of the carburetor. The main jet, it is clear. And what I'm gonna do is probably just hit this with a little bit of carb cleaner and dry it out. And then if I need to put a new gasket, I will. So apart from that, this repair should be pretty much done with. And it was just a case of water in the fuel tank.
Well, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and you can click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to come on back next week. Check the channel out for new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.